Hello everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to get an education in grading uh, U.S. Gold Double Eagles. We've got a bunch out here at Heritage Auctions headquarters, been having a lot of fun and learning a ton in my internship, and so we're after hours just filming some coins. Basically, I'm going to be practicing grading them myself uh, because that's something I really want to improve on, and I'm going to be bringing you along with me in this journey. So, um, I think one of the big things I'm going to be going, you know, down this row, um, and then I'll do this row and then this row, but I've been trying to get better at identifying when coins are cleaned or not, or if there's like altered surfaces or whatever that is. And I don't really have a lot of good perspective on it, um, but I still want to show you those coins. Um, but all to say that like, I probably at first glance would not be able to pick up that this was an I don't know what they're going to even call it because I'm not sure. Probably either cleaned or altered surfaces. But um, this would be our first coin, and I guess it, it will be. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Um, but, like, I, I would not pick up on what's going on uh, with this coin. Unless, like, I, don't, I do not think that this would be considered scratched, even though there's a little bit of a dig there. Um, but, yeah, let's see what they call it. Uh, altered surfaces. Okay, so probably going to mean some type of cleaning. But, anyways... Um, on those, I'm going to probably have shorter commentary just because, again, I don't, you know, it, that's something I want to learn too, but um, haven't had a chance to really do a ton of digging on that. And like on these, I think the front is going to be definitely the most important. And with that much sort of chatter and like, you know, those aren't scratches, but they're pretty distracting marks. Um, and then like pretty dug up ch cheek and chin. I would probably call this like somewhere in between 61 and 62 uh, is my best guess. I'm probably going to say 61 here and see what they give us. Uh, and it says 62. Mm. But uh, definitely not like a 63 or higher. And they often get really expensive um, pretty quickly. Uh, you know, again, I don't deal in gold myself because like I <laughs> can't really spend, you know, two or 3000 uh, bucks on a bunch of gold coins if I'm not doing that just for like a bullion transaction where I have it sold right away. So that's why I'm really excited to do this. And I figure a lot of you may be in the same position. So to be able to see the coins up close, like think through grading them, I'm trying to give you enough time to really look at them um, could be helpful in your own, uh, you know, coin learning, so to speak. Like, I think that this one looks nicer than the past one, but I would have thought that this is like a 62. So probably just adjusting off of that, I would call this a 63. Um, and we'll see what the grade is. Uh, and it's another 62. But like, I guess that shows also the difference that there can be in grade. Um, and so maybe it was a good disclaimer on my part to have said I would grade this a 60. Uh, two, but for this one, I'm now calling it 60, uh, 63. So um, technically have been one off on, or yeah, um, one off on both of those, but not feeling horrible about uh, anything so far. All this stuff looks mint state to me, like here, you know, there's some hits in the wings, so probably not going to be like a higher mint state, but like, hey, I really like the look of this coin. Um, I would probably call this like a mint state 64 on my first glance, just because everything about it looks pretty clean. Like there's not huge distracting marks. It'll probably come back like three and I'll be, you know, a little bit wrong, but yeah, I would probably say like 64. Um, and it is okay. Awesome. Um, I, I own one St. Gaudens in like, I have my typeset, which I graded a bunch of it. And one, I think that coin came back 64 as well. So I think that looked pretty similar and that's going to be the highest graded coin we've seen so far today. But there's, you know, I'm sure we'll see some lower grade. It looks like a lot of, uh, you know, the, like, Liberty Head, basically not St. Gaudens. Um, double Eagles are what we have in front of us today. Um, but the grading can really apply to anything. And I would assume with, like, larger planchet size, um, they pick up a lot more wear. So, like, this, again, I would probably call this between 62 and 63. Um, you know, definitely nicer than the first coin, but... Yeah, again, 62 or 63, I'm not really too sure. Mm, but a 62, okay. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me. I think it's challenging to find that many of these in, like, three, especially, like, four, just, again, because of the way the planchet is made. Um, it picks up a lot of wear. And I've, I've heard other people say that, basically. That's not... Um, 
you know, I'm still beginner enough where I don't really have the commentary uh, at hand immediately. And I'll show off this coin briefly here. Um, you know, 1896. I know what it that it is a details coin because that's what the holder said on the back of it. But again, if you're seeing where it's altered, I mean, maybe it's a little bit of uh, like cleaning right along there, but I'm not seeing it. So altered surfaces, good to know. Mm. After that, though, um, you know, I also don't want to mess up the order that these coins were given to me in. So that's why I'm including the altered stuff here. Like, that's a pretty big dig right through the cheek. Um, but, you know, the rest of the coin, I mean, it looks nice from like a luster perspective, but because of how deep that is right there and like the scratch in the cheek, I would probably call this a 61 again, though I was wrong the last time I called something 61. Mm. But the coin I sent in, my one uh, Mint State Double Eagle Liberty head came back 61 and they look similar and that's what it's going to be. Okay, um, cool again. Um, good to know. 61, uh, and I think just with like that big of a scratch right by the eye and then another one a little bit below it, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, after that, we've got a St. Gaudens here. This one looks nice, even a, a few less like hits than the 64 on the back of it. And then the front looks nice again, though there is, you know, a little bit of distracting stuff here, uh, a little bit in the legs too. So I'd probably be ready to venture a, a guess float out another 64 grade for this coin is probably where I would be on it um, and that's what it's going to be okay nice um, hasn't been disastrous either today so I think probably the big thing is that I would have missed the the cleaned ones and so maybe I'll study that a little bit more this one also going to be uh, in that category and I don't want to pretend like I don't know that it's you know I think regardless if it wasn't there, I'd probably call it like a two. Um, I don't think that it's a scratched, but, um, oh, it is scratched. Okay. So I was wrong. It's probably just that big thing right through the hair right there. Mm. But I don't think it's like as so, so distracting, but I guess it continues down. I missed that it keeps going into the R and Liberty. Maybe if that was gone and it was just there, then it, then it wouldn't be, you know, prohibitive in terms of getting a grade, but at least... Yeah, I can say I didn't see the cleaning because it's not cleaned, but it's scratched pretty hard and, um, well, good to know. That that holds it back from being, a, you know, a coin that gets a straight grade. And let's see the reason, you know, this one's also not gradable. Um, it has really nice, you know, it pops um, on this side. I'm not seeing a scratch, so I'm sure that it's a little bit of cleaning or something. Um, otherwise, I would probably call it like a three. Mm, yeah, altered surface which probably just means cleaned. Um, after that, we're back to a, let's see, regular, you know, pretty chewed up on the back. Mm, so I'm probably thinking like 62 from the front. Um, back, there's a lot more hits, but I don't think it's like so bad where it goes down to a 61. Um, and again, I'm no expert at grading. I just want to show you like, again, my thought process when I get things wrong, it's good to know, you know, see how I get it wrong and be held accountable. I guess this is a 62 in my opinion. Uh, and it is, yay, cool. Mm, and it helps like fine tune, you know, when, when I see like five or six of them, ideally I should get the next ones even a little more right. And, like this looks gorgeous on the back. This might be a 65 if this luster and lack of distracting marks carries over the front I don't think it quite does 23d uh, it's you know you can see all through and like also in the middle of St. Gaudens I mean maybe it's not I would still think like technically it's probably still at a 64 level but I wanted to say that this was a 65 but I would probably guess 64 for this one maybe it's a 63 with enough marks but I think visually I kind of like 64 for it um, and it's a 63 so um, again, that makes sense. Probably need to be more technical than I was. Um, just in terms of like, maybe we can zoom in a little bit. Like, look at how many marks there are, like in the field. Oh, I totally missed that. May I probably would have immediately downgraded. Um, and that's easy for me to say now that I see the grade, but I didn't even see that huge hit by Liberty's head. So 63. Cool. Mm, I was wrong. 
but not so wrong. Again, I feel like I've been getting better about narrowing in. And of course I say that, and that probably means the next one I'm gonna be like five points off. Um, but here, you know, it looks like a pretty normal coin to me. Um, wouldn't be shocked, you know, there's a nice read mark, um, like three different places on this coin. So it's probably gonna be 62. Wouldn't be shocked if it's 63, but I would say 62. Mm -hmm. And it's a 62. So uh, it's also helps me again that there's not like a bunch of AU coins in here thrown in, or else I would be having a much tougher time. But just trying to refine the eye, see as many coins as I can here. And this one's going to be 1898. This one looks like a Mint State 63 to me because, uh, you know, there's one like kind of hit prominently on the cheek, but especially out in front of it, looks really clean to me. Mm. So, 63 plus, nice. Um, so I guess I'm happy I recognized it. I wouldn't have known to really give it a plus grade, but the, you know, I, I don't even know well enough to know what a, a plus grade really means. If it's like the luster and the clean fields make it look like a four, but then you can't grade it because 64 because of what's going on on the coin, but definitely nicer than like, let's review the 62 that we just took a look at, like three pretty distracting read marks. Here you see one, um, but especially out in front, those fields being so clean, make it a really cool coin. And after that, we've got this coin, which again, probably doesn't look exceptional in terms of the uh, reverse. Now let's see on the, the front looks kind of nicer. Like there's still stuff going on out in front, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was this. I, I'm going to say 63, probably. Um, well, there's a lot like on the cheek. I think I'm going to say revised to 62. Nope. I'm going to say 60. Uh, no, now I see that hit down there. I'm going to say 62. And it's a 62. Okay, yay. I, uh, I'm i happy about that because I, I learned that lesson on that one Gaudens that I thought was so nice looking, but then I overlooked a big hit. Like that scratch, I have no idea if this is true. Again, I'm not a grader. If that was gone, maybe it would be a 63, but maybe there's just enough happening uh, in the face where it's not uh, either. But another Gaudens, um attempt here. This one sort of looks little funny um so i'm probably gonna be tighter on it think it's graded worse but it's not a details holder so um interesting appearance on the back there and now it's time to look at the front there's not like that many big nicks in the front of the coin but i don't i feel like it's not as sharply struck maybe but maybe it's still a 63 or so a little bit of a hit in the rays but they don't look horribly mangled i just don't love how that reverse looks, but I would still probably say 63 just from like an overall eye appeal. And it's a 62. Okay, so I probably should have dropped it a point for that. Makes sense. And I don't think that, you know, I've been doing well with this, but like mint state coins, there's not really that much, like there's probably not gonna be a ton of like 65s or 66s here. And, you know, you really have to have it beat up to be 60 one or 60. So um, I've been very happy, but it's like a pretty close range, I guess, where I guess it's still good to see the differences. Like here, a little bit under trust. Mm, looks pretty clean to me. Then over here, there's like a lot of like, you know, a little chip down there, a lot of like light things going on. I think it's probably still a 62 just from eye appeal wise. It doesn't have like as nice of an appearance, but, um, you know, I don't think that this would be a 61 or a 64. So then it just, you know, it probably makes me look good. Now watch it be, I'm two points off, but I would probably say 62 on this. Um, and that's what it's going to be. Okay. Makes sense. Um, because there weren't like as many of the deep hits, but it was like so pervasive on the front of the coin. And then like also in the fields, a lot of scratching and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Next up we've got this sweet looking, I don't know, I, I still, I'm probably seeing more gold in this video than I have handled um, in years. I don't, I wouldn't say in my lifetime, but certainly years. Here, uh, the number that immediately jumps out to me is like 63, maybe 63 plus. 
just because but now I should slow down and see if there's a bunch of like marks all over the coin that I neglected previously but I would probably say 63 on this because I think it looks nicer than the stuff we've been seeing um, and it's a 62 I'm surprised by that but at the same time check out the back maybe it has to do with the back like especially down there being a little bit you know beat up but I'm, I'm surprised that I guess I guess there's so much like little hits all over the thing but I thought that it was a little nicer than some of the other 62s we've seen mm, we got two more coins here this one looks nice to start on the back of this coin again we see a little nick but I think it's all gonna come down to the front of the coin which again to me looks like you know it's gonna be a 62 uh, that's what I would say just based off what we've seen so far like a lot a lot a lot of little mini scratches um, and 62 again so happy with that but mm, now final countdown or show of what this coin is going to be this actually looks nice to me mm, I don't know though I think it's either a, a 63 or a 64 and on the back there's a lot of like little marks in the the wings of the eagle mm. and but the front looks really nice I think I'm gonna go 63 but I would not be surprised at all if it was a 64 but I would say 63 and that is correct so again I feel like it's making me look good to have done reasonably well but I saw all the ones that were clean so I would have missed all those and then you know it's not like we were dealing with contending with really high-end um, you know it's like the range that we saw I think was 60 maybe we saw 161 uh, to like 64 so again couldn't have been more than three points off in today's video but hope that this was helpful I always think it's cool to see just more coins and so that's what I want to you know I don't get to see this too often so I was like this would be great for a video Hope that you enjoyed, and I'll see you probably back in a few weeks with another similar video, but I'm going to try to film a fair amount of them sort of at the same time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, comment your thoughts, and subscribe to Treasure Town, and get in touch with me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, check out my website, treasuretowncoins.com, for news and updates related to the channel and collectibles in general. Lastly, there's a link tree in the description with links to all of my other sites as well as some affiliate links that can support the channel. But with that being said, have a great day and I'll hope to see you on some of my videos in the future.